my champions a little bit of a different video for you today on on my serve um, i'm going to try and fix my serve and i'll show you how i fix my serve when i'm not happy with it i played a match this weekend wasn't too happy with my serve results percentage so i'm gonna i'm gonna take you through what i would do uh, if i wanted to come back to the practice court and fix my serve so stay tuned all the way to the end and then we can see if there's a an improvement and i'll also show you at the back of the court at the end where the balls are bouncing and you tell me if it looks better first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to show you five serves show you how, how i serve this weekend more or less and then i'm going to touch on on uh, what i think the problem is about myself over the weekend the first thing I felt like I was doing wrong was I was I was forcing and when I when I try and serve my serve too hard I don't realize it but I end up pulling the body together and I don't get maximum contact point and then ends up being low tight flat doesn't work so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and float on the serve I have some videos on that as well it's basically where you you serve and then you try and stay up afterwards what that does is it helps you to stay up, helps you to reach up as well. So this is what I think I did wrong the weekend. I was too tight trying to force it, okay? It goes in sometimes, but it's not, the percentage is way too low. So now look how I'm going to try and, after the serve, I'm trying to lengthen my body, still looking up. I'm already seeing improvements there. Notice how I'm keeping my head up, lengthen my body. Float up in there. I'll give you guys one more. Okay, it's starting to slowly feel better. The next thing, while thinking about my service, I do think I was trying to get too many free points. I do think I was trying to hit it too flat and hard. Okay, so what I mean by flat is that I'm trying to hit it too flat trying to hit it harder than I should hit it and it actually has the opposite effect so this is what I did I was trying to hit it smack bang flat it could go in could go out so what I'm gonna try and do to improve this is I'm not gonna slice it but I'm gonna imagine and feel like I'm just putting a little bit of slice on the outside of the ball so even though I'm hitting a flat first serve every serve there's gonna be a little bit of slice does that mean you don't pronate no the pronation is always there it will happen automatically so what you'll do is you'll go slightly around the ball to give you that little bit of spin accuracy but then the pronation will still come okay so here's the change you'll notice a different sound on the ball as well because I'm cutting it slightly that's a very nice one so what this does is it gives you more accuracy without losing out on power okay three in a row so with the first step that I'm working on plus that little bit of a slice feel it's looking good so far also what I realized was and I know for a fact I, I did this because I was playing a defensive game because I my, when, when I don't serve well my confidence goes down the next thing that goes is my forehand so I really need to serve well to play well so I know and I think another problem I had was I was using a lot of legs but I was using a lot of legs and then just jumping up and down landing behind the line so it was looking like this okay so I think by simply changing or trying to feel like I'm gonna land inside the court I'm gonna get more forward and upwards momentum so something like this load obviously combining it with the first two tips all right A good way to work on that is to kick your back leg up or try and land on your left leg and your back leg should jump up automatically if you're using enough legs okay missed that one remember when you are giving yourself a serve lesson you will miss it's not supposed to be perfect but you want to see if your averages get better and if it feels 
more comfortable. <sighs> was a nice one. Landing on your left leg will also help you to keep your chin up at the end. <sighs> okay, timing is slightly out there. One more. <sighs> Got two more of those. Nice. What I'm noticing out of these tips, the slight little bit of slice on the surface really helping me a lot. Okay, landing inside. Nice. Okay, champions, last two things that I'm gonna work on today. And remember, you try and work on three to five things, not more, because then it will be too much. And then if you have five things, take the three tips that you really feel like it's making a big difference, okay? Another thing that I know I did wrong for sure is the fact that I, when I'm in that state, my ball toss is definitely a bit too low, okay? So I know my ball toss was somewhere here, and that really rushes you. I'm not saying go too high on the ball toss, but you wanna give yourself some space. Okay, so I'm gonna go ball toss higher and see if that helps me. Before I do that, please remember to subscribe, like, share a friend, with a friend really helps the algorithms that's why you help me as well if you want to change your tennis career for the better grab my ebook in the description below great tennis tips in there life tips everything i did wrong everything i did right so now i'm gonna go ball toss a bit higher i will feel that there's more time so it's gonna force me not to rush oh my best one today i think you guys will notice how that's probably one of the top tips that I need to focus on. I'm not feeling rushed at all. I'm gonna have to work a little bit on, on waiting or slowing down my swing, not waiting. Oh, wow, it's a nice one. I'll show you guys that side of the court just now. High ball toss, making a huge difference. I don't feel rushed, I feel calm. So high ball toss, definitely something I need to work on. All right, last thing that I'm gonna work on today for myself is, I know for a fact I was trying to hit the ball too hard, forcing it. So I've noticed throughout my career, if I don't try and hit the ball too hard, I sometimes even get more power without forcing. I talk about this quite often as well. So what I'm gonna do is, so I know I was trying to force it like this. Very risky. And now I'm gonna try and stay in a calm state and just let my racket head do the work. If you stay calm, you end up having more racket head speed. Higher ball toss, landing in the court, a little bit of slice, staying up. It's working. I'm just staying calm on my serve. Not forcing it. My serve is definitely better. I hope you guys can see it. Okay. Net court, one more. No, that wasn't pretty. One more. Let me take you guys to the other side of the court. Let's see where it bounces. All right, champs, let me see if I can give you some uh, serves, see where they bounce, see if we can get some improvements going. I'm gonna go down the tee, mostly and uh, in for the body serve, so I don't kill the camera lady. Nice T-serve, slowing it down, not forcing it, great serve. I want to give you guys two more good ones. Body serve. Thanks for watching guys, let me know, do you see any improvements? That is how I will improve my serve after a match that I'm not happy with. Some of the tips aren't textbook, but you got to understand what works for you. How do you talk to yourself? What do you tell yourself? And that's how you can fix any shot. Let me know if you like this kind of video, the way I did it, because it's more, I'm more doing it from a player's point of view instead of a coach point of view. See you next time. Love you guys.